Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my Britonia Legendary playthrough here in Total War Warhammer 2, where things are going scarily. Um, I think we are at the beginning of the end, we have multiple forces coming to hit us, we're reeling from an invasion we've just taken, and we are being sieged down in various other places. In fact, I think... No, income's not an issue, so I can afford to try and hold places, but I just don't see how I'm... Unfortunately, I don't really see how I'm going to come back from here easily at this point. I'm going to recruit this guy and start getting some more stuff out just to try and help, but we shall see where we are at the end of this play... At the end of today. Oh, God, he's got that horrible one. So I'm possibly actually going to swap him out for somebody else, but for now we're going to start recruiting a few questing knights on under him. And some archers. Oh no. There we go, just starting recruiting some more troops of the things we are inevitably about to lose. Luan Lianke is going to fight as valiantly as he can, but he's sitting there at ambush stance next to Baudelaire, hoping the enemy will come in at him, but good god. This is legendary, guys. I mean, I am legendary in a very dangerous place here. I suspect other factions are probably a bit easier on legendary, simply because you're... You're not as exposed, whereas being on the coast is actually... Oh, good God. Um, being on the coast does make you... Does leave you incredibly exposed. Oh, and here we go. Um, because people can just drop in. Whereas if I was, say, the Empire, I'd actually be in a much, much more stable position for people hitting me and coming in at me. Um, you know, because it would be much harder for them to get to me. Then again, I'd have to deal with Norska and the like instead, as well as potentially other Empire factions. I mean, as Gelt, I'd have the Vampires. So it's 50-50. It's there are definitely... It, it does make the game a massive challenge, however, which is interesting. Um... Yes, Meg fighting on the walls. I am not going to be fighting on the walls here other than briefly at the start to get some shots off at all of their guys. Ready. Um, it's here. We're basically going to be trying to hold this square against them. Uh, rather than that, rather than going forth too much because I don't want to die. Damn. Sorry, trying not to uh, accidentally click there. So. Spears backed up by squires there. Oh, for God's sake, wrong way around. Spearmen at arms! We are ready! Spearmen at arms! So that's my initial setup. It doesn't mean I'm not going to move things. Everybody else is kind of going to sit back here in backup to reinforce where needed. Um, my archers are going to sit here, and again, oh, bugger. My archers will be pulled back very early on. Oh, wrong unit. My archers will get... Oh, right. I've only got one unit selected. My archers will pull back very quickly. They're being positioned out like this, so I can get a few good, solid shots off against their their large units anyway. Not going to bother trying to take out the towers, because I'm never going to manage that. Um... Orders, my lord. There we go. For the lady.
for the lady. Stay in post. You guys can move over there a bit and help just shoot them. Protect Britonia. The more damage I can do as they come in, the better. King. What I want to avoid doing is getting caught on the walls, but I've got a little bit of time still. Righteous fury. Orders. You guys can pull straight back. You guys can pull back to just behind the wall where you can shoot at them for a little while. And then we'll pull them back afterwards. Right, no, straight back in now. Okay, they're throwing all their depth guard in there. Right, you guys forwards. Uh, reinforce with another line. My spears can actually fall back a bit. Run! Oh, they're hitting me with debuffs already. Hardly surprising, but... It's good. We're all doing fine. We serve our liege. Spearmen at arms. We obey. Leg it. There's a bowman. Quickly, lads. Get yourselves in here and positioned, please. You guys can position that way a little bit. Clear out! For the lady! For the king! There's a bowman! We fight for the If we can take her out, that's quite good. Oh, no, hit them. Hit them now. Right, extra spearmen this way. Oh, God, why have I lost some of my swords from here? Right, all of my range can support this flank for now. If I can burn off this flank first, that'll help me. I'm going to send a bit more support. Yeah, this is a tricky one. Actually, we're breaking through from there. Right, you guys can now... Oh, backspace. Stop moving. You guys can pull around here to try and hit them from behind. Right, I need support, more support here. Ride them down. Brave knights, take the ground. So we're going to move in behind and slam into them from behind there. It's not ideal, but they are technically anti-large, so it should help. We are holding. I mean, here we've just got, we've got very few left. Here, obviously, it's a bit brutal, but we are holding. The brave men of Bretonia are fighting against these beasts. Right. Charge. Come, brave knights of Bretonia. Straight into the rear. There we go. Look at him. Where were you? What a slacker. We fight for Britonia. Knocked and ready. Get up. For the king. All right, let's support here. We're actually breaking them there nicely. You guys can all fold in on... Um, on Amelia there, Amelia the Drowner. That's good, change focus, over here, kill them now. 
We, we're actually probably going to win this. I, I wasn't defensively like this. I said, I never hold the walls. I, I just find holding the walls just isn't as effective. It's worth, if you've got enough troops, it's worth, worth leaving some there. But you're so much better fighting in the streets like this. You in there, I'm going to pull these guys around this way. Hmm. I'm quite sure why some of my archers are in there. Yeah, I'm not worried about the uh, uh, Billy Nut there. He's he's already folding, falling apart. To be fair, they're all gonna die soon. Second Billy goes down. They may all just fold. Come on. Yeah, the brave, brave, brave men of Bretonia are having fun here against these, these vampire pirates and their monsters. Eventually my knights will appear as well. When they stop slacking. There you go, it's over. We may not even make it here. Oh. Beautiful, guys. There we go. So nice, solid defensive victory there. Yeah, we, we took quite a lot of losses, but we won, and that was the key thing there. Um, now, they do have a bigger army sieging the other town, but the other town also has a bigger army defending it. So, this is a victory in what is proving to be a difficult campaign at the moment, but we'll see how this is going. Um, hopefully, not too badly. Hmm. Okay, so that's there. Tomorrow defended. Ooh, they've split their forces. Interesting. It might be a chance for me to sally forth, though I doubt it. Uh, Luan Lianke is, is going to have to do some, some risky manoeuvring this turn. Um, I'm tempted to actually get him into the sea. So he can start lightning striking. Um, but he may just die. Because <laughs> they are all so close to him, I can dive into the water there and start hitting them with lightning strike and take them out one after the other. But it's going to be brutal. Mm. And they've still got more to come afterwards. Good God. Oh, at least I'm not the only person with fun. Altdorf's being being attacked there. Uh, Karone is still holding, but for how long? That is the real question. Never short sighted. Well, not none of them are too bad, actually. The lion. I have seen your heart. Champion of the lady. Let's do this. To glory. Lightning strike on each of these guys. With us. So we're going to have a few glorious cavalry charges here. There is literally nothing here which even vaguely scares me. So we are going to form a line and charge. Um, literally nothing anti-large here. Um... So there is no need not to just do a brutal, just to do a straightforward charge into them from the very start. No need to mess around with formations or anything. This is 
my realm. Here we go. And we can watch this glorious Bretonian charge. So we reform. Here comes the first enemy volleys. Oh, taking down or slowing down some of us. Luan there above, ready for his charge. And obviously the lady there on her unicorn with the cavalry. And the dark elves here. Ready to soak. Oh, that one poor unit. There you go. We are engaged nicely all along the line now. Not quite sure where they're running off to. Ah, chasing down the chariots. I mean, yeah. There was literally nothing here which was even a vague threat to us, so... Make sure nothing lives. Don't let it escape. No, <laughs> one of their monsters is escaping. But that's it. Wow. Yeah. I was worried about them, but however, I'm not worried because simply because of what they've done. We lost 25 knights, guys, though. 25 good knights of Bretonia. That said, 25 knights of Bretonia is actually a bit, probably a bigger loss for me than their entire army at the moment. And that is our problem. They are so goddamn ahead of us. Then again, this army is a little bit elite now. Um, which is good, because they need to be. Uh, and basically, we're going to rinse and repeat that same battle three times here, I think. Which is going to be glorious. Hopefully. Anyway. Short-sighted. Waste my I am contemplating killing. By the light uh, of the I hate it when that happens, even though I wiped them out pretty much Next. utterly. Strength and honor. I probably should have just autoed this, but but I have a glorious charge, guys. Um Again, we're just going to do the same. No need to not do the exact same mechanic here. I'm just going to double time through this one, though. We're just going to do another glorious charge into the enemy, rip them apart, and then we're going to go go clear up the other army and then push back in, then then try and make landfall again. King Luen Leoka! King Luen! King Luen Leoka! Forward. Oh, why are you not formed? Huh, not quite sure what happened there, but... Mm -hmm. 
I'm not exactly being subtle here, but I don't feel I need to be. There we go. See, this is a point where they should actually be piecing out with me, because I am beating them resoundingly. The issue is, because we're on Legendary, they just have so many troops to keep throwing at me and throwing at me and throwing at me, guys. Um, hmm. Well, you lost eight there, but we deployed less. This is the thing. Every time we are deploying less. Uh, as I said, we'll, we'll be back at full strength next turn. Next turn, so. A uh, little bit of finishing up, tidying up here, but then we're in a good position better anyway i was a little worried these would be full of you know uh black guard and the likes again but they're not champion of the lady oh god why did i also that the lady calls. why was that harder after it just ah oh. by the light of the lady I hate auto resolves. That one should be fine, he says. It's it. <sighs> Making my way. I am the blood of Zeal. You seek the. Light. I am not known for my. Hmm. It's annoying, but it is. I can cope with taking that losses. We're gonna have to push up this way next. Um. Protector of the realm. Do you know who I am? <sighs> Well, here we go. Let's see where they hit us next turn. I'm a little concerned about mass Massive Orkel. Um, I can't really afford to detract armies from it, but move armies away from it, but we are in trouble. Ooh, this is going to be a fun one. So here, I may try and leave some units on the walls to start with. The thing which worries me the most here is actually the mortars. Um, because mortars are a pain in the butt. Um, Aranessa is going to be a pain herself, but everything else isn't too bad. This is a good defensive settlement. Um, we'll have to see how this goes. The Battle of Margarita. Ah, that's perfect. I thought I'd moved all these guys back already. We're kind of going to do a very similar thing here. Um, I'm not going to bother holding the walls. I've got the ability to take out a lot of their ranged with... Do a lot of damage to them before they hit us, but as soon as they get close to the walls, I am just falling back because I don't want to waste things needlessly. These guys are going to push forwards just to play with them. We go, just doing a bit of damage before they even get to us. Human archers, serve the base. Then, as soon as it becomes dangerous, we will fall straight back. Like the cowards we are. Horseman, victory! 
Ooh, my artillery seems to actually be explosive. That's good. Nice, we're actually doing quite a bit of damage to them here. Keep an eye on the damage being done to that gate. On to that one. Thank God, this is actually going reasonably well. That's, that's what I need to pay attention to. Though a lot of these guys can't get up. I am half tempted to leave my ranged on the gate. Oh God, I need to... I'm an umpty, I am an umpty, I am very much an umpty, especially as most of these guys are in the wrong place. I completely forgot to sort here out. Right, you guys can all move back. Right, it's time for my range to get back. Ooh, we're not. Right, and let's start positioning some halberdiers there. backing up in various places then other people can be sent about as needed okay it's good we're keeping a lot back because it's safer to I'm losing some of my archers oh never mind you guys form on the yeah they're 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 broken never mind <clears throat> I didn't move off the walls quite quick enough but we did a decent amount of damage to them before they even got to us so Should focused on the mortars a bit more. Hindsight is a beautiful thing. Okay, here comes the first few, but the, if they're coming in dribs and drabs like this, that's actually fine. Dribs and drabs like this is perfect for us. Where's my fourth unit of halberdiers? You can move up here to support as well, as that's where most of them are going to be hitting us from. It's fine. They're, they're, they're still kind of not really hitting us majorly. Ah, we've got some hitting us here. Let some support there, but they're already broke, pretty much broken. I'm worried about those mortars more than anything. Because with this clustered formation, they could still cause us a lot of problems. Let's drop a lovely bombardment here from the lady. Do much, but it looks good. Ready for orders. 
Yeah, if they come out to some dribs and drabs like this, we're absolutely not going to lose, so... And I may even be able to get my cavalry out. Yeah, they're all kind of folding into the front here, which is perfect for us. Let's get my paladin in, and to be fair... Charge. Go. All the extra healing and defense here. Oof! That's right, get back up. Aranessa sitting there having second thoughts about coming in. Oh, their mortars appear to be gone. In case you guys can slam down into there. Let's start pulling some more support from your flanks because we don't really need them. You guys can charge that way. Drop it. Get involved. This is easily a victory there, and these guys can charge Aranessa. This is a risky charge, but... That's what it is. Because here we're holding the line, the mass of Bretonians here, led by the Green Knight himself. Here we go. Take her out. Break and charge up there. Oh wow, this is actually perfect because they're going to come in and trap them from behind. Let's start double timing. Oh, I'm at the point where so much is on my thing that double timing actually slows me down. Yes, I do realise I'm charging Death Guard with pole arms with my cavalry. And that is a very, very bad idea. I just want to pin them for a minute. Let's break down here actually next. Give them all forms, physical resistance, base weapon damage. It is a lovely ability. Oh, not much. Let's pop an explosion. I think they're going to disappear anyway. There we go. And they're down. By the Chase her down. Do not let her escape. She is the only non-vampire unit of theirs. So we will take her out and not let her escape. Beautiful. See, why? Why would you not defend this fortification? I mean, you, you de put a token defense on the walls, but... You know, well, you could defend there much better. Go on, finish her off. Nearly down. can find her. There we go. Victory! And that is, um, actually Estelia saved for the time being. Um, for the time being, being the key word there. But that was a good, solid victory there, guys. Um, hmm. 
We shall see what we shall see next, anyway. See what else comes into this. I'm a bit surprised they did move another army away, which would have made it harder. But then again, that was always a relatively easy defense. Um, and actually, if you stay in your cities, the pirates are relatively easy to deal with. Nope. I should have probably accepted it at the moment, to be fair. See, if I had Reichland helping me, or somebody helping me in this war against the Dark Elves. Welcome. How fair... Yeah, you can have an aggression pact. Oh god. Come on, hurry up. I mean, at least the Wood Elves are friends with me now. I, if I hadn't pushed into Astelia, I think I would have been in a much better situation here, but I had to keep pushing somewhere. Um, to be, I opened myself up by pushing into Estelia, and they absolutely took advantage of it. Um, and they have thrown so much at me, and we have been amazed. I, the, the defense of the realm has been amazing, the fact we've actually managed to last and hold. Um, that is where we're going to end today's episodes, guys. And I'm going to be honest, I am ending this play, this series for the time being. Um, simply because the last one, 20 of you, video, 20 of you watched. So, um, while I am enjoying this, I'm, I'm cutting it for the time being, uh, simply because no one's watching it. Um, please do let me know what you'd like me to do next. I'm, I'm, I've got my next things planned, but, you know, let me know what you'd like me to see doing on Legendary next, or trying on Legendary next. Other than that, guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed this playthrough. Um, I was hoping we'd have a glorious last stand, which seems to have not happened. But we're, we're, we're close to having a glorious last stand. It's just not quite there yet, yet no. though. Ridiculous. Let's be honest, Nothing with the amount they're throwing at me, it's not going to be long away. Uh, anyway, as always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this playthrough. Cheers all.